वेलकम बैक आई होप यू आर डूइंग ऑसम एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो विल अंडरस्टैंड लेन एक्स कमेंट्स अराउंड फाइल लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड one of the very very important command is how do you create a file to work on a file you got to create a file right so we have different options to create a file earlier one of the mostly used command was vi when you say vi and provide a file name that would create a file but these days we do have one more command called g edit which will help us to create a new text file or a new file and also if the file is already created we can open that file by using a g edit command so to create a file we do have different options one is vi which has been used for a quite some time now and we do have g edit if you see here we are giving a g edit and this is the name of the file so this will create a file called file name so we have created the file we have created multiple files but if you want to search for the file you are looking for then we can use a command find then you can use a dot to say that i am searching a file in this current directory and say i for name and provide the name of the file you are searching for that will find you the file you are searching for why do we really need this command <laughs> because whenever you work in any operating system you tend to create hundreds of files do you want to keep on searching what are the file which you want to find not really in that case we can use this command to search for a specific file you are looking for if i ask you a question your file does it have only some five to six lines not really it may have thousands and thousands of lines depending upon what was the amount of data you are trying to store in that file in that case if you want to get a hang of a file you can use a head command head command displays the first 10 lines of the file which you want to see for example you can say head and provide the name of the file that would display the first 10 lines of this file isn't it easy yes it is head displays the first 10 lines of the file what if i want to get the last 10 lines of the file that is where we have a command called tail if you say tail and provide the name of the file then it will display the last 10 lines of a file again the use cases may be different maybe for some purpose you want to see the first 10 lines then use a head for some purpose you want to see the last 10 lines use a tail command for that what happens is whenever you are working with the file maybe you want to see the Contents of the file arranged in an alphabetical order, or arranged in an ascending order if if they are numbers. In that case, we can use a sort command and give the name of the file that will sort the content of the file. For example, here if you say by using the cat command, we are seeing the contents of the file. they are not sorted madhu anand asha and all those things are there when you say sort and provide that file name you can see anand asha they are sorted in a alphabetical order we have a touch command this command would help us 
to create a file change and modify the time stamps of a file so touch means it's like a physical touch right in the same way when you want to change the time stamp of a file you can use the touch command you can also use this command to create a file as well let us say you are trying to search for a particular file within couple of folders you are trying to search for a long time because multiple files are there it is getting difficult for you that is when locate command will come to our help very simple we can use a locate command and the name of the file it will provide us the path in which this particular file we are searching for awesome then we'll see all these commands as a part of our hands on i am logging into ubuntu if you have not installed the ubuntu please install the ubuntu by watching our blissmas academy youtube channel where we have provided a video to install ubuntu so what i have done is i have already created a folder named unix here so how do i know that let us use a command called pwd and to look at the contents of this particular folder let us say ls we do have some files and couple of folders here let us go ahead and create one more file here as i said to create a file we can use vi command vi let's say cosmos one dot text it creates the file and also opens the file for editing if you have created a file by using a vi if you want to edit this file you have to use insert command by pressing a i then only it will allow you to type something so we will type something like we are learning the unix or linux commands so in order to save this file you have to escape and say shift colon w q that will save this file this is how you use a vi command to create a file and edit that as i said vi command is bit difficult for the beginners the best command to create and edit a file is gedit we will say gedit and say galaxy dot text look at this you'll get a text editor it is very easy to navigate type something and save it so i'll say this is a demo of gedit command to create and edit file so i will save this here you can see i am hovering a mouse here save this close it a file name galaxy.txt is created by gedit command let us see whether galaxy.txt is there or not there you go if you want to check the contents of this file we can go ahead and say cat galaxy.txt it displays the contents of any file which you are referring to for example cat is a command which will display the contents of a file the name of the file here is galaxy.txt okay next command is finding a file let us look at that command hands on so if you look at we have multiple files in this folder so what i will say is find dot dot means current directory and i'll say hyphen name and provide a name of the file which i want to find 
there you go so in this case i have very minimal number of files easy to find but if you have thousands of files if you are trying to find one file in that this command comes very handy next command is head and also we look at the tail so let me show you the content of a file called states.txt we do have name of the states in india in this file karnataka up to west bengal how many lines are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 lines are there so if i say head it will display the first 10 lines of this particular file if i say tail it will display the last 10 lines of this file as i said if you want to scan through the some of the contents of a file at a very high level you can use head and tail commands next we have sort command we'll use the same file you have already seen the contents of this i will say cat state start text it will display the contents of this file do you see all of these contents are in a alphabetical order not really let us try to say sort state start text look at that it arrange in a alphabetical order in the same way if you have a file which has numbers it will arrange those numbers in a ascending order so sort comes to our use whenever we are trying to sort the text according to the alphabetical order or numbers in an ascending order next we'll look at touch command as i said touch command is used to create change and modify timestamp of a file i am using a command called clear to clear the contents which are displayed in a terminal so if i say ls hyphen lt in here we'll cover the variations of the ls in other video for now if i say ls hyphen lt you can see one of the file here is created at 1742 right so if i want to update the timestamp of this particular file i will say touch file to dot text and if i if i say ls hyphen lt timestamp of this file to dot text has changed to the current timestamp so we can use the touch command to change the timestamp and also we can use touch command to create a new file as well okay new file dot text it creates a new file we so say ls we have new file dot text last command we'll see here is a locate so i want to locate state dot text which is there in a path home mahanta unix let me go out of this particular folder we say locate states uh, before that what i will do is say control we say i am there in a pwd now from this folder i want to locate a state start text file let me say locate and say states dot text there you go it gave us a path where we have a state start text okay so let us go and see whether this particular file is there in this path or not i'll say home mahanta yes we do have so it will locate a file in the folder even though you are outside that folder it will give the first instance of that file in a particular path awesome we learned some of the important commands related to 
file and handling a file thank you